sandal fly, boot fly, shoe fly, that's it. Better still, buzz off. Botheration. You weren't concentrating, Thomas. Lucky for you that the buffers were there. That's what buffers are for, to stop engines from crashing. What are you doing in the sheds, James? I'm feeling a little blue, which isn't so hot when you're red. I was naughty and Sir Topham Hatt told me to think about all the ways I can be really useful. Then I can come out again. He's just trying to make this a better railway for steam engines. Sir Topham Hatt says the harder we work, the less he'll need diesels to help. Help you? Oh. <laughs> oh. You'll always need help. Because steam engines are cowardly, cranky, worn-out hunks of metal who couldn't hurt a fly. <laughs> No, we're not. Yes, you are. Aren't. Are. Now, I've come back to find a lost steam engine. What? I'm going to destroy her and dominate you. And then you'll be nothing but useless scrap. Right, Pinchy? Big bully. Stinker. <laughs> we're really useful engines. You won't dominate us, and you won't destroy her. We won't let you. Neither will Mr. Conductor. I want to fetch him now. What lost engine? Far away on Sodor, the steam engines were confident, cheerful, and determined not to be bullied by Diesel. Only James, who now felt really useful too, was complaining. Wobbly wheels. Puffy pistons. Thomas, I should have collected Mr. Conductor. James is right, little Thomas. <laughs> Collecting Mr. Conductor is an important job, hmm? Important is big. James is a big engine, hmm? Mm. You, Thomas, are small. Small, 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 teeny, weeny, weeny. And I, I'm a big blue engine who knows everything. <laughs> Bossy sprockets. All that steam has gone to your funnel. Hey, there they are. We'll fix their wagons. I'm not good at that enough. Me neither. What's important is to stand up on our own wheels to Diesel. Toby's right. Diesel knows that the lost engine in the legend really exists. What engine? What legend? of an engine whose magic makes her more powerful than Diesel will ever be. That's why he wants to find her. Then we'd better find her first. Leave it to the big engines, Percy. Little engines can do big things, especially when they have nice blue paint like me. Hey, hey, <laughs> just watch what happens to that blue puffball when Harold the Flopper Chopper flies past you. Right. <laughs> Routine flyby, chaps. Hello. <laughs> The boss dumped sneezing powder everywhere. <laughs> Let's start laughing now. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sorry, fruits. Bit of a dust up. Love to stay and clean up. Got to go. Bye now. <laughs> uh, did you mean to look like that? Uh, no. Uh, neither did I. This must be Diesel's doing. Uh, choo! Choo! Uh, no, no, right a bit. Uh, uh, up a bit. Oh. <laughs> oh. There, James. Tickle all gone now? No, still itchy. Hey, Mr. C, why do you look so tired? Is it because I'm red? Diesel says red is a very tiring color, but Mr. C, red looks so nice against the snow. <gasps> it's not me, is it? Oh, no, of course not, James. I think that red is bright and cheerful. Oh, good. Just like my sparkle. Or at least it was. And must be again. Oh, I'm sorry, James. I'm going to the windmill to search for something important. Now off you go to work, please. Okay, Mr. C. Keep your steam up. Smile, you steamers. It's a sunny day. Rum, rum. It's not sunny because Mr. C's not at the windmill. I look. I think his sparkle's all gone. My smoke box doesn't feel sunny. It feels stuffed up. Nasty fumes from dingy diesel. <laughs> and diesel is after the lost engine. And if he finds her, I fear that will destroy us all. What, even an engine as big as me? Yes, Gordon, even you. Uh -huh. Say it, don't spray it, Thomas. I've still got sneezing powder up my funnel. Now I'm going to look for Mr. Conductor. Let us get back to work. That's what he would want. How about a race, Thomas? Um, um, sorry, Bertie. I can't today. I have to be a really useful engine and solve some mysteries instead. I guess that means I win. Perhaps another day. Um, um, um.